So call me, um, we're looking at a really specialized uh, flatbed lathe from my day. But I guess a specialized machine means a specialized component. What, what, what are your customers making? <laughs> Okay, we would like to make a uh, make a machine for one heat machining, especially for long shift, long transmitting shift, uh, for shipyard, for power generator, or for oil mining, uh, for hydraulics industry, something like that. Yeah, absolutely. And those kind of components, why are they so specialized? Why do they require specialized machinery? Uh, for for this kind of uh, shifts, uh. It could be long, uh, but at the end of the shift, there's some some transmitting part, something like keyway, gears, or six uh sh at the end. So we need meeting pro uh, process or some grinding process uh, at the end of the, the workpiece. So it is very important to make it a multitasking machine. Yeah, absolutely. You can imagine you turned all the way down, but right at the end, there's some splines. Or, or, or some kind of driven uh, driven features. And so how do you achieve that? What, what do you put in your machinery to make that possible? Okay, so first of all, the main idea is we could ha make it a dual carriage machines, a machine with uh, two carriages, but uh, two carriages, they may uh, interfere with each other about a stroke. So we have a sta spatial design at the, at the head start side, so the first carriage, the left hand side carriage, could park aside the head stock. In that case, uh, the second carriage will have the almost full stroke toward the head stock. And uh, vice versa, the second carriage could park aside the, uh, aside the tail stock. So the first uh, carriage will have the full stroke. So we make two carriages work independently, but with full stroke. Yeah, it's amazing. And you show that here. We've got a, a live turret on the left-hand side, a milling turret on the, on the right-hand side. And here on the left, you can see it's almost, it's, it's right into the headstock, giving the milling machine, the milling side, full stroke down the down the workpiece. Um, and that must be really useful if you also need lots of other tool posts and lots of features all the way down the shaft. Yeah, we could, uh, the, the idea is like a Lego ladder. We provide flexible machining uh, configurations, such as a, a simple turret or power turret, horizontal meeting columns, grinding uh, grinding posts, or uh, boring bar uh, brackets. Yeah, so we could make it a combination for the and the then make two cages to to provide flexibility and the efficiency for machining. And what are the benefits of bringing all of those operations onto one machine? So we make it one heat machining. You don't need to switch from uh, machine A to machine Z, but we make it uh, done on one machine and uh, on my desk machine only. Brilliant. One hit done with big, heavy components take a long time and they're heavy to move around between machines as well all because you've got a modular tool post. Let's dig a little bit deeper into the design. You've already mentioned the specialized design that lets you park and achieve full stroke on other tool posts. But looking a bit closer, there's some amazing looking big boxways on this flatbed lathe and also rack and pinion. Why have you chosen these big, heavy, juicy design? Oh, uh, okay. In the, pa in, in the past, uh, we, from time to time, we design V-ways for our carriage. Uh, it's very convenient to look forward to the good alignment of the carriage. But this time, because we focus on the structure of the, the machine, it's solid and rigid. So we have our technique to make the carriage uh, parallel on the, on the guideway. The specialty on the design is uh, we would like we have a boxway. It's practical for us to design two carriages with one fret, one slope, the same slope. See, uh, uh, it's not something like uh, the slope here. And what's the maximum length you produce these machines to? Yeah, we, we, we build a machine for the length for uh, 15 meters long. 
Yeah, so without red cap in it, we could make it happen. The specialist machinery here in my day, building massive components all in one hit at Tim Toss 2025.